welcome to our new home. We closed on our house a few short days ago and we wanted to take you on an empty house tour to show you what our house looks like before we start doing a bunch of different renovations and painting and adding the furniture and all that good stuff. We also have another exciting announcement to share with you guys. We are officially engaged. Look at that honker. Jake actually proposed to me on our front doorstep the day that we were closing. So it was just a whirlwind of happy events that day and we're super excited. So come on in and let's get started with the tour. In here we just have a bunch of different odds and ends that we're moving into the place. This is going to be the office area for Jake's office so that he is on the ground floor and away from the bedroom because he likes to game. It can get kind of loud. So moving back here we have just some utility areas. This in here is the laundry room not too exciting but you guys can take a look we just have a laundry tub washer dryer is going to be over there in the corner over here our little buddy milo giving us a tour today as well this is our coat closet in here and we upgraded all the door handles to these nice Halifax Square matte black handles. We did that with the design center. If I forgot to mention, this is a new construction home, so it's semi-custom where we picked the floor plan and then we got to do a bunch of the upgrades later on at the design center, choose some of the finishes to an extent. I'm not gonna go into that, um, but it just leads to a little basement. And then through here is the double car garage. So this is actually a three, four town home. So got a little lot of flights and stairs. We're working on that booty workout. <laughs> Moving into the heart of the home, we have our beautiful kitchen. We're so excited to have so much space and so much cabinetry. It's amazing and we're looking forward to having like a dishwasher and a full-size refrigerator and we're just so excited. But the appliances are going to be coming at a later date. So we'll just give you a little bare bones tour so far. The countertop right here is going to be swapped out for a nice crisp white modern marble look finish. Here's a look at the backsplash tile that we're going to be installing. It's a super nice marble hexagon finish. And then this is the countertop quartz that we selected. So this is a small sample of it, but it'll have nice marble look feigning to it. This is just the included countertop that we had included with the base price of our house. We had asked them if we could just get the house without the countertop because we knew we were going to be swapping it out afterwards. I talked about all that kind of stuff in our design center selection video. I have that vlog up on my YouTube channel if you guys want to take a look at that to see the process of us building the home. I have lots of vlogs up about doing framewalks and the whole entire process through to drywall and painting. So we have all those videos up on my channel if you want to check those out. So yeah, we're going to be swapping out the countertops to a nice white marble look finish. We already had the contractors in the house to measure that up, but because of delays and stuff, we are finding that appliances and our countertops and furniture and even lighting is just being delayed much more significantly than it would have we not been in this current pandemic situation. So we have a nice pantry. It's a super big upgrade to what we're currently living with. Right now we have like an under cabinet sort of pantry situation. So we're super excited about that. This is where our fridge is going. Here you'll notice that we don't have like a backsplash or anything going on. So we're gonna be installing that ourselves. A lot more options to do after the fact and it was a bit more cost effective to do it ourselves. We have our chimney hood that's gonna be coming in from the appliance delivery. Over here on the island, we have a built-in under counter microwave. So you'll see that hole in the bottom there intentionally made for a microwave with a trim kit. We intend on putting a big eight person dining table right here. And we've already made some of our dining chairs. We're gonna hang a pendant. Here off of the dining area, we have this lovely patio. It's just a nice space so we can have at least some outdoor space. We don't have a backyard in this property. Moving under the kitchen, we have a powder room off the top of the stairs. I love the tiles that we selected from the design center in there. It's just a really nice accent, still keeping neutral. And we're gonna do like a gray paint in here and have all like the, the faucet and the light fixtures be a matte black to match it. And then moving over here, because we don't really have a need for two dining tables. We're just gonna make it into one big area. We're gonna put our TV over on this wall. Maybe one day do some bookcases and buildings and added a fresh coat of paint yesterday to sort of make it a bit more warmer and cozier in the living room area. But we're gonna keep most of the house nice and light and bright. And we had a contractor come in and install 
the pot lights in the house just the other day. So it is actually quite expensive to do pot lights with the builder. So we brought in a certified electrician, had them install them throughout the house. These pendants, we also got the electrician installed. These are not included in the house and I picked those up from Wayfair. I have a vlog where I talked about collecting the pendants and we ended up going with two. Then moving up to the third floor, we have a main bathroom. This is going to be Jake's bathroom. All these finishes we did with the builder and we're going to swap out some of the hardware and the faucets. Linen closet, super handy for grabbing towels and bedding and all that good stuff. We also did these upgraded five panel doors for the builder as well. It was pretty cost effective and they look awesome. This is going to be my future office. Office, desk, creative space, filming room. And then we have our third guest bedroom. This is actually going to be turned into a guest room and we're gonna put a bed in here for whenever we have guests sleeping over. Right now we just have our big pendant fixture sitting here that we have to get hung up. We're gonna hang it up in the hallway. This is what it looks like. We picked it up from Amelia. And then moving over here, we have the master bedroom. This is a king size bed. We're just the classic sleeping with a mattress on the floor until we get a proper bed frame set up. We have a nice closet right here. We plan to exchange that potentially for like a pack system. And then we have this little Juliet balcony that we like to call Milo's balcony because it's a- <laughs> Look at all the people you can see from here. He likes it out there. And we think it's funny because this little Juliet balcony door is the perfect Milo height. So he just sits there and you can already see like little nose marks up on the on the window there. And then moving this way, we have the ensuite. And this is my bathroom, so no boys allowed. So that is the end of the house tour. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to join us on all our future moving and renovation vlogs and all that home interior design stuff. We're super excited to finally be homeowners and we can't wait to take you all along on this journey. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.